Welcome to the captivating world of Have Gun Will Travel, a television series that etched its mark in the annals of the industry. What makes this show a timeless emblem of the entertainment realm, possessing enduring qualities that resonate across generations? As we explore its narrative terrain, perhaps you'll find echoes of personal inspiration or impact in your own life, prompting the question, how has this series shaped your perspective or left an indelible mark on your journey? Before we dive into your stories, let's set the stage with some random facts about this iconic show. Premiering in the late 1950s, it unfolded against the backdrop of the Old West, weaving tales of the enigmatic paladin, a gun for hire with a moral compass. Richard Boone's portrayal of this complex character, coupled with the series' deft storytelling, garnered both critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Now, let's turn the spotlight on to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Have Gun Will Travel? We invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below, creating a tapestry of diverse experiences that enrich the legacy of this television gem. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Have Gun Will Travel, a classic television series that graced the screens in the late 1950s, emerged from the creative mind of Sam Rolfe. Debuting in an era dominated by Westerns, the show distinguished itself through the enigmatic character Paladin, portrayed by Richard Boone. Paladin, a cultured and resourceful gun for hire, navigates the rugged landscape of the Old West, undertaking assignments that often blend morality with action. The series carved its niche by infusing a moral complexity into its narratives, challenging the archetypal heroism prevalent in its contemporaries. Boone's portrayal of Paladin added depth to the character, elevating him beyond a mere gunslinger. The show's unique style and Paladin's chess piece business card became iconic symbols, emblematic of the series' blend of intellect and firepower. Have Gun Will Travel left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent westerns and contributing to the evolving portrayal of characters in the genre. Its legacy endures as a testament to the power of storytelling in the unforgiving frontier. Paladin, the enigmatic gun for hire from the 1957 TV series, remained a mystery as his true name was never revealed throughout the show's run. In a series of novels, he was dubbed Clay Alexander, adding an intriguing layer to the character. The complexity of Paladin extended beyond the screen, with his business card featuring the telegraph address wire Paladin, sparking misconceptions about his first name among fans. The Hotel Carlton, listed as Paladin's mailing address, reflected the limited means of long-distance communication in the 19th century. Amidst the challenges of the Old West, Paladin's companion was his horse Rafter, a name personally chosen by Richard Boone. The six-year run saw different horses with names like Curly, Frisco, Rudy, and Mexico. These equine companions added depth to the character's journey through the rugged landscapes. From the silent revelation of Paladin's name to the selection of his trusty steed's moniker, each detail contributed to the enduring legacy of the series. The intricate web of facts surrounding Have Gun Will Travel unveils the thoughtfulness behind the scenes, inviting viewers to appreciate the nuances that shaped this iconic piece of television history. In a curious legal twist, a man named Victor Da Costa waged a 30-year battle against the creators of the renowned TV series. Da Costa, who had long been using the name Paladin and distributing cards with the iconic phrase Have Gun, will travel, filed a lawsuit against CBS for appropriating his character without consent. His legal pursuit resulted in a victory on April 28, 1991, blocking the show's re-release on television. Ironically, Da Costa, aged 83, had passed away by the time the final verdict was delivered. This legal saga adds a unique layer to the legacy of the 1957 TV series, showcasing the complexities that unfolded behind the scenes. The character's name, Paladin, carries historical weight. Derived from the early European terms Paladino and Palatine, it signifies a knightly, heroic champion or a trusted military leader fighting for a noble cause. The adoption of the nom de guerra Paladin is intricately explained in Have Gun Will Travel, Genesis shedding light on the character's military background and his role as a champion for justice. This linguistic and historical connection adds depth to the enigmatic figure that Richard Boone portrayed on screen. Interestingly, the TV series precedes its radio counterpart. While many television series find their origins in radio shows, Have Gun Will Travel took a different route. 
The radio show featuring John Daner as Paladin emerged after the television series, showcasing the show's impact and success in the visual medium. This reversal of the usual adaptation process highlights the significance and popularity of the character in the realm of televised westerns. In the rugged landscapes of the Old West, the character Paladin became more than just a gunslinger. He became a symbol of moral complexity, blending intellect with firepower. From legal battles to linguistic origins, Have Gun Will Travel stands as a testament to the intricate web of factors that contributed to its enduring legacy in television history. Paladin's business card succinctly encapsulates the essence of the 1957 TV series, bearing the inscription Have Gun Will Travel. Why are Paladin? San Francisco over a night chess piece silhouette, it serves as both a calling card and a harbinger of the moral complexity embedded in the characters' undertakings across the Old West. This iconic representation not only reflects Paladin's readiness for action, but also hints at the strategic and intellectual facets that set him apart from conventional gunslingers. The chess piece imagery underscores the show's unique blend of intellect and firepower, emphasizing Paladin's role as a calculated and resourceful gun for hire. The absence of a hyphen in the business card, in contrast to the series title, adds a subtle yet intriguing detail, indicative of the meticulous thought invested in crafting the character's identity. Beyond the symbolic card, Paladin's choice of weaponry further defines his character. His trusty Weighty Dieter 73 Colt Single Action Army Revolver, boasting a 7.5-inch barrel and chambered in 44 or 45 caliber, becomes an extension of his persona. This specific firearm not only reflects the historical authenticity of the Old West setting, but also symbolizes Paladin's adherence to traditional values in an era marked by moral ambiguity. In delving into Paladin's world, the business card and the Colt revolver emerge as pivotal elements, encapsulating the core themes of the 1957 TV series. From the strategic chess piece to the well-chosen firearm, each detail contributes to the enduring legacy of Have Gun Will Travel, showcasing a character whose impact transcends the conventional boundaries of the Western genre. As we wrap up this expedition through the tales of the enigmatic gunslinger, I urge you to bask in the echoes of Have Gun Will Travel. Let the reverberations of Paladin's adventures linger in the corridors of your memories. Perhaps you find solace in the dust-laden trails he once traversed or the enigmatic cards he played in the game of justice. Now, dear reader, it's your time to step into the narrative. Reflect on your own rendezvous with this classic series. Did Paladin's principal pursuits resonate with your own sense of honor? Or did the dusty landscapes trigger a longing for the untamed frontier? Share your thoughts, your tales spun from the echoes of Have Gun Will Travel. Let this dialogue be a testament to the enduring power of storytelling bridging the chasm between eras and souls. As we part ways for now, I extend my deepest gratitude for joining this odyssey through the realms of gun smoke and gallantry. Your presence has added another layer to the rich tapestry of Have Gun Will Travel, forging connections across time and space. So go forth, carry the spirit of Paladin with you, and may your reflections be as vivid as the sunsets on the western horizon. Thank you for your time, your musings, and your unwavering interest in the timeless allure of a bygone era. Until our paths cross again, keep the fires of nostalgia burning bright. Crafted with tales of the West and inked in the spirit of camaraderie, 